You are listening to the FTWpodcast.com, where we talk about wrestling in all of its laughable glory. Here's a clip from this week's episode. Welcome to Quick Hits. For those of you guys new to this show, each one of us is going to get 30 seconds to sound off on a news topic, and if there's time afterwards, we'll scream at each other for a little bit. Uh, this question was actually taken from a pretty serious, heated debate after Thursday's Impacts. We'll ask it here. How often should the World Championship be defended? Uh, Mike, who was on last week, uh, said, quote, it should be defended on pay-per-view and maybe two to three times a year on free TV when uh, trying to pop a rating. Uh, Revolted Youth on Twitter said, I'd like to see it defended two or three times a month if competition is warranted. Uh, Chill Mascaras is saying, uh, I'd rather see a fighting champion than a once every 30 days champion. And um, Mr. Lucho Libre uh, saying uh, the title loses value when it's defended weekly. Why buy the pay-per-view? There are uh, other ways to advance the story. Who do you think has the better point? And keep in mind, Mike is going to be on here a lot more often, and he also does for the PW Torch. So, you know, if we have to suck up to anybody, make it Mike. Go, Joe. <laughs> um, I like his idea of being pay-per-view in a few times a year and free TV. That's a great idea. I also like the idea, if it fits the character go with chill mascaras seeing a fighting champion okay. so depending it depends on character okay good point uh kevin i'm with i'm with mike and it's not to suck up to q pack i don't if he wants to be on he can he's got to be on the show eat it you come on when we tell you you come on no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, honestly honestly i like it defended at a pay-per-view i i think it's a good you know if you want to do it a couple of times a year on free tv that's fine but i think it should be defended at the pay-per-view so i'm with him okay uh, Rob, uh, I'm I'm kind of with Joe here. I mean, I under uh, the pay per view is where titles should be de- decided, but at the same point in time, one of my favorite titles of all time was when uh, the WWE had the hardcore title that was defended 24 seven, and you know, <laughs> you just had crazy stuff. I like the I I like the idea of a fighting champion of somebody who who will come out and say, hey. I'll defend this son of a bitch every week if I have to. Just bring it on. To me, that's that's always really rallied me behind a champion. Okay. My favorite is when they were pinning someone in baggage claim at the airport. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was great. My favorite of hardcore twenty four seven. Somebody got beat in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Parking lot. Oh, it was great. Outside the stadium. Oh, it was fantastic. Uh, yeah, M- Mike's got a good point, and I'm not just saying that because he's my buddy. Um, all right, I am just saying that because he's my buddy. Uh, and he, he, he knows how to cut the balls and give a good reach around. Uh, maybe two to three times a year. I think it's a little too low. I'd like to see it a little bit higher than that, maybe half a dozen. Um, but Chill's got a really good point. A fighting champion, I mean, you got to respect that. you got to respect somebody who comes out like Cena and puts in, a, you know, put in a main event match every fucking week. So, I don't know. I mean, it's that tightrope. you got to walk. Well, you've heard our thoughts, but now we want to hear from you. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. And even join us live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. at the FTWpodcast.com.